In a few of my videos in the past, I've commented that God has told me to do certain things or that he's asked me to do certain things. And a lot of people ask, well, how is it you hear God? How do you hear him speak to you? So I want to take this particular video and talk about that exactly because I want to start by saying you grow to know your father's voice. The more you listen to him speak, the more you recognize what is his voice and what are you just hearing in your head? Well, just like any good father, our father, our heavenly father desires to talk to us. He desires to hear us speak and he wants to, he has a lot to say to you as well. But also just like any father, you know, we want to hear our sons speak. You know, when my son uh, or daughters, when my son just the other day, we were driving in the car and he said, oh, guess what? And it, it kind of brightened my heart. It almost didn't even matter what he said after that. It was just the fact that he wanted to share something with me and God is the same way. I also want to say there's no wrong way to pray. Uh, there is no, just like there's no wrong way for your kids to talk to you. Now, of course, we don't want our children cursing us. That's wrong. But just like that, God doesn't want you cursing him as well. So I don't want to say there's no wrong way to pray. But for the most part, there's no wrong way to pray. You know, Jesus gave us the model prayer with the Lord's Prayer. But that prayer was never meant to be chanted or memorized like it is today. It was just kind of an outline of saying, you know, recognize that he's your heavenly father. Recognize what it is he does. Ask him for your, your daily needs, you know, and then honor him. These are, it was really the point of not chant what it is and memorize what it is Jesus said. It was just kind of more of an outline on how to talk to God. But on the night that Jesus got captured, his, he was in the Garden of Gethsemane and his disciples kept falling asleep. And there's something particularly said that stood out to me many, many years ago where he said, can't you sit with me for one hour? And I thought a lot about that. I've never prayed for an hour up until that point. And there was just one particular day I went to a park and I walked and just quietly prayed. And I, I tried to get a solid hour and it was very difficult to do, but I grew a lot in that one hour. And I grew closer to God in that hour. It's just spending that intimate time. You know, there was also a time where I read the book of Job and it said that he got up every morning and, and dedicated for his kids uh, to God. And, and I kind of thought about that. So I kind of transformed my prayer life as well as it was the first thing I did when I woke up. I've been better at it the past than, you know, sometimes I falter on that. But I really try my hardest to dedicate that time every day day but in the end to really hear him you know it's one thing to talk to him but to hear him back communication is a two-way thing if if i'm just talking i might as well be like a radio dj or a youtuber i gotta get that communication back and what i do is oftentimes i will ask god about something and then i just i, I just shut up uh, in my mind i just try to listen to him only i try to quiet my mind and sit still and just see what it is he has to say and he has a lot to say to you so i'm going to start by recommending spend more time with him dedicate time with him but when you're praying every now and then just be quiet be silent see what it is he has to say and you're gonna grow to know your father's voice and there's times where he might say something to you in your mind and you're thinking, well, did that come from God or did I just think it? Well, those are great questions. Now, the way I usually decipher those is a couple different ways. One, there's oftentimes things come to me that I would have never thought of on my own. I know that's from God. I also know when the enemy's trying to talk to me because it's not my father's voice. But then there's times when I'm just not sure and I'll ask, God, is this what you're trying to say to me? And then I'm silent again. And I always get a clear, well, yes, that's what I'm trying to say, or no, that's not what I'm trying to say. So in the end, I guess what I'm saying ultimately is spend more time with God. Dedicate a time every day with God. And then just be quiet and listen. I, I think as humans, we really struggle with listening, not just to people, but to God. Just be silent. See what it is he has to say, because he has a lot to say. You know, and I, I guess I'll close with this, is God also promises that he will give you dreams and visions, and that's a, that's a big deal. 
you know, there was one night where I had a, a particular dream and it, the dream really bothered me. And the second I woke up, God interpreted that to me and I knew that dream came from God because I never would have thought those thoughts on my own. And I knew that it meant something. Um, that doesn't happen often, but it does happen. When you have those dreams and you're like, that, there's something there, you just know it came from God. Then right when you wake up, say, God, what are you, what are you trying to tell me in this? And he will clarify it. He will absolutely interpret it. Now, a lot of these things I'm sharing with you, these aren't just things I'm making up. These are very biblical things. Uh, the Word of God tells us these exact same things. So I'd love to see you grow and hear about you growing with God and your relationship and how you're communicating with Him. He has a lot to say to you. Stop and be silent and listen to what it is your Father is trying to tell you. Um, if this video helps, please comment below. I, I, again, it's, it's, uh, I've been asked this so many times. Uh, how do you know that it's God saying that? You know, when you say, hey, God told me to do that, how do you know? I definitely know. I very much know my Father's voice. But it takes time. Um, and that means dedication and a lot of silence, just silently listening to what it is God has to tell you. Because He definitely has things to tell you. So, love to hear if this video helped you in any way, please put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support our channel through Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.